Oh my god, I'm so hungry, my stomach is actually like making noises. Apologies if you hear my stomach throughout this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. My mum actually came up with this video idea because I am off to the Lake District in a few days with my family. Um, well, by the time you're watching this video, I will have returned, I will be home. But I thought that it would be really interesting. Well, my mum came up with this idea, so it's all down to her. I'm gonna show you now the type of makeup that I'm gonna be doing for when I'm away. And it's a pretty like kind of active holiday. We're gonna be doing like mountain walking and I think it's gonna be quite miserable weather like windy and rainy that's what it's normally like in the Lake District um, and yeah I just thought I would show you the type of makeup that I would normally wear for a kind of like action filled well, not action filled we're not gonna be doing anything crazy but I thought I'd just show you the type of makeup that I wear when I'm doing things where I really need it to last and I thought I would actually put it to the test by literally wearing this makeup up a mountain and seeing what it, you know, seeing how it holds up and stuff. So I don't know, I just thought it'd be really interesting. Today's notification squad shout out goes to Little Miss Blue and she said, we'll have to stop watching the football for this, love you so. <laughs> and this is from my drugstore starter kit video, which you guys seem to really like, so thank you so much. And uh, yeah, as I was, you know, as I uploaded that video, England were playing in the football and uh, we didn't win. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection Essence. This has got SPF 50. I'm just going to use this to moisturize my face a bit and also to protect my skin because obviously if I'm out and about, I want to have some kind of SPF on my face because it might be sunny. I mean, it probably won't be because it's the Lake District, but uh, but we could hope, you know? This is a really nice SPF. It's not like too greasy or anything and it sinks in pretty nicely. I know a lot of you will probably be like, so why would you wear makeup when you're like doing mountain walking and stuff like that or like hill walking? Um, I know that a lot of people would choose not to wear makeup, but just me personally, like that's just how I live my life. I like to wear a little bit of makeup, like no matter what I'm doing. So if you don't want to wear makeup to do like a walking holiday, then that is absolutely fine. You do you. The primer that I'm using is the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. And I like this because it's kind of like sticky. So I feel like it gives something for my makeup to stick to. And also it just like feels really nice on your skin as well. It kind of feels like a nice, serum or something. Then when I'm on holiday, I don't tend to wear foundation that often just because I want to give my skin a bit of space to breathe. I mean, I know that putting concealer on it doesn't really help, but also just to save time in the morning because I want to make the most out of things. And one that I really like for just like wearing by itself is the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. So I'm just going to put this like under my eyes, um, around my nose and just on any blemishes. And it does kind of act like foundation, but it's just not as heavy and I feel like it just looks a bit more natural. So I just use this concealer and then just blend it in with my beauty blender. It's just a really nice like fresh kind of natural looking concealer. Like it definitely doesn't have full coverage or anything, but you can just see it really nicely evens out my skin tone and my skin still looks like skin. Okay, and then to set that in place, I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Powder. God, I hate these things so much. Come on. And for some reason, again, when I'm on holiday, I do my eyebrows completely differently. Don't really know why. I think it's because I want them to look a bit more natural. And this is probably like the quickest method of doing it. Um, I will either wear the Ico Brow Gel in, I think it's just Brunette, or the NYX Brow Gel in <laughs> Brunette. I think today I'm going to use the NYX one. I'm actually just going to brush this through my brows. I feel like I could even just leave it there, but just to like neaten them up a tiny bit, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. And I'm literally just gonna like fill in any gaps, I guess, and just make the tail a bit more defined, but that is literally it. So next I'm doing some mascara and I am gonna bring a waterproof mascara with me just in case it's super rainy. And then obviously if I switch mascaras that I'm gonna be using, then I will show you in like later on in this video, but I hate waterproof mascaras. I feel like they don't work as well as like standard mascaras and also they're so bloody hard to get off. Like I feel like they rip out my eyelashes and my eyes are really sensitive and so just scrubbing up my eyes even if it's with like an oil based cleanser I just find it such a pain in the ass to get off that I avoid waterproof mascaras like at all costs. So I'm gonna try and see how long my collection lash surge mascara holds up and see if it will survive in the rain. Like we'll just give it a test and see. I'm gonna add a little bit of contour and highlight and I know that this seems a little bit extra just for doing some hill walking but because I'm so in the routine of it, it literally takes me like 
a minute to do this, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm using the L'Oreal Back to Bronze powder in the shade 02 Sunkiss. And I'm just gonna use this as bronzer and contour in one because I'm lazy when I'm on holiday. And then I'm also gonna do a bit of highlighting and I'm using my highlighter palette with Makeup Revolution. And I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, the brow bone, the inner corners of my eyes, my nose and Cupid's bow. And then finally to top everything off, I'm using the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Mannequin. Before that, by the way, I did put on this lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm ever. It's the Tony Moly Peach Lip Balm. It comes in a little thing like this. It smells incredible and it's literally the most moisturizing thing ever. And then just finally to finish everything off, I'm using the Revolution Sport Fix Spray. I felt like because it was called Sport Fix. And I'm doing sport, well not really sport, but kind of like walking. That counts as a sport, right? I'm doing exercise. I am just gonna spray my face with this. And this is kind of just like my everyday summer makeup routine. It's still like pretty natural looking. I know that to some people this isn't natural looking, but like, you know, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy, but just like enhances all my features, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm now off to the Lake District for a few days and I will see you guys when I'm there and I will bring you with me and see if this makeup lasts. Hello, so I'm in the Lake District. Um, I'm like, this is the first day that I'm here. This is the view outside of my window. Um, this is out one side, as you can see, there's just trees and grass and hills. And today is day one. I've just done my makeup routine, which I showed you guys. I used all the exact same products and we're about to head out for a walk. I don't think it's gonna be like a particularly hilly walk, but like throughout the week, I'm gonna be testing it in different situations. Today, the weather is kind of like cloudy, a little bit drizzly, a little bit foggy. And yeah, I'm gonna put it to the test. And this is the view outside of the front window. Did you just hear that cow moo? We're literally like in the middle of nowhere. We've come on a walk to this lake, which you can see behind me. So far, the weather's actually been really good. Um, I don't know if you can see the sky up there. It kind of looks like it could rain, but so far we've been pretty lucky, but it's so pretty. Like everywhere we go, I feel like I've just been saying it's really pretty, but <laughs> it's just so peaceful here. Like it's so relaxing. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see this right now. Yeah, you can see me okay. I've got a hood on. Um, it's raining, it just started raining. It's been fine all day, but I did kind of think it was gonna rain. Um, so I've just put my hood up, but so far, like I did definitely get some rain on my face during the start of this because um, I didn't get my waterproof out of my bag and I was like, eh, it's fine, it will stop. It didn't stop. It's now like actually properly raining. Um, but my makeup all seems to be fine. My mascara hasn't smudged yet. It's not waterproof. I mean, I feel like a little bit of rain isn't really gonna disturb mascara, but today hasn't been that windy. So I reckon I'll probably give it like a better test on the days where we actually go up a mountain. We'll have to see, but I mean, so far, it's been absolutely fine. Nothing has really budged, which has been good. And we've been walking for like a couple of hours, so, so far so good. So it's the end of day one, and I know that I've changed it to my glasses and everything, but I've had this makeup on since, what time did I put it on this morning? Maybe like 11 this morning. So it's been on for 12 hours now, cause it's now like quarter past 11. And I am looking like pretty oily on my nose and stuff, but I feel like my skin still looks really nice. And the fact that I've been out walking today, like I've been, you know, we walked for quite a few hours and, well, it wasn't a super intensive walk or anything, um, but it was rainy, it was drizzly, um, it wasn't the worst weather ever, but I feel like considering all of that, my makeup actually still looks okay. And one thing that I actually really like about this is that I feel like the less makeup you wear, the better it kind of looks at the end of the day, if you get what I mean, because normally for me, with like oily skin and stuff, my makeup normally looks disgusting by the end of the day because it's all like separated everywhere and it's normally like fully sunk into my smile lines, which it has a tiny bit, but not too badly. Like I feel like overall, the fact that I've had this on for like uh, 12 hours, I feel like it still looks pretty good. But I would definitely test it, maybe not tomorrow, maybe the next day when we do like a proper hill walk and actually test it on top of a mountain. Today is day three, I think, of the Lake District. Today is Wednesday and today we've just come on another little walk and apparently this one's got a really nice view. And technically what we're in right now, my parents are just up ahead of me, um, technically they just told me that we're in a rainforest because of the amount of rain that they get in the Lake District. Um, and this is like a forest kind of, apparently it's technically classified as a rainforest because it rains a lot here. And yeah, apparently that's the fact. So right now I'm in a rainforest. I feel like today isn't gonna be 
the best makeup test because um, it's not raining, um, it's pretty nice weather. But yeah, just thought I would update you. So this is currently where we are. Um, it's kind of a mountain. I don't think it's really a mountain. It's more of a crag. Um, but <laughs> we just climbed all the way up here. And this is what the path is looking like. So the weather's not actually as bad as I thought it'd be. Being in the Lake District, I thought it was going to be kind of rainy, windy and stuff. But it's actually been pretty nice today. Um, but this is what my makeup is looking like so far. I mean, it hasn't really budged. And, well, I've got like a bit hot and sweaty walking up this big hill but um yeah so far it hasn't really moved which is a good sign and I've definitely found that not wearing any foundation my makeup has lasted a lot longer by just having the concealer and then setting spray so I think if you're going to be doing something where you need your makeup to last then maybe consider not wearing foundation because it seems to be working for me pretty well <laughs> Whew. made it to the top Whew. Okay, I don't know how well you guys will be able to hear me because of the wind, but we've made it to the top of the mountain. Well, it's not really a mountain. It's kind of a small mountain, but for me, this was a mountain because I'm very good at it. But this is the view behind me. It's so nice. And yeah, my makeup is literally still perfect. I mean, to be fair, it hasn't rained yet. I'm hoping it won't, but then I kind of hope it does so that I can give it a proper test. But so far, it has survived the weather of the Lake District. Yeah. Today, we're going up there. We've just climbed all the way up here. That over there, those little white houses, those, well, that's where we're staying. So our cottage is over here. We've just walked all the way like along there, down the roads and then up this path. And we're heading up here. This is the view that we see so far. We're almost at the top. The top is just over there and we have just come, well you can't even see where we started but all the way back down there somewhere. <laughs> This is where we've just climbed down from. It looks really scary when you look back on it, but we were literally all the way up here. Okay, the sun's come out now, so I can't really see what I'm doing, but um, a second ago when it was cloudy, it was like good lighting to film. So I got my camera out, and now the sun has come back out from behind the clouds, but we've just come all the way down from up here, wherever we were, up this mountain somewhere. Um, it's been really, really hot weather today, um, and I've definitely got a bit of a sweat on, and my makeup seems to be okay. I mean, like, I haven't really looked close up in a mirror or anything, but I'm pretty sure my makeup is fine. Ate food, my lipstick still seems to be on, it's come off a little bit. Today I decided to wear Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin instead of Mannequin, because I've been wearing Mannequin every single day this holiday, but they've held up really well. We're about to go have an ice cream. Um, my mascara hasn't smudged in any situation, like when I've been hot, sweaty, um, we did have a little bit of rain as well, it hasn't smudged. To be fair, the only weather we haven't had this holiday is like torrential rain really. We've had sun, we've had wind, we've had cloudiness, we've had a little bit of rain. Um, but yeah, we haven't had anything like crazy, like a lot of rain. But yeah, I mean, I would definitely say that the makeup I've been wearing this week is uh, a good thing to go for if you're wanting something that's going to last for a while during the day and you want to look a little bit more presentable but you don't want something that's too heavy um yeah i've been really impressed with how it's lasted sorry about the really awful lighting um i'm using like the inside lights and everything so i know that it's not the best but i just wanted to quickly round off this video i forgot to do it when i was outside earlier i really should have done that but oh well i'm about to go to bed oh uh, well i'm actually about to edit this video but i really hope you guys enjoyed it i know that it kind of would have been better if the weather had cooperated a bit better in terms of it raining because i kind of wanted there to be a bit more extreme weather but i can't really control the weather so i would definitely say that it worked and it stood the test of time and by the end of the day my face wasn't looking too gross like yes I did get a bit oily and stuff but nothing kind of smudged the lip stayed pretty much all day the mascara stayed on really really well and also as well I definitely found that having just the concealer on my face lasted a lot longer than having like a full face of foundation and then concealer um so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one bye